Welcome to problems like 37 plus something equals 79. In this lesson I'm going to try and add the 1s and the 10s separately. So let's have a look at the question. Um, let's imagine I've got $36 and I want to buy something that costs uh, $78. So I need to somehow save or earn a little bit more. This method's uh, good for this type of problem because you can see I've got six ones and I need to get more, and I've got three tens and I need to get more tens. So let's start by um, maybe drawing a picture of what I, of how many uh, ones I've got. So you can see I've got six ones, four, five, and six, and down below that I'm going to put what I need to get. I need to have eight one dollar coins. So you can see that I've got less than what I need. So I ask myself, I've got six, how many more coins do I need to get up to eight? And the answer is two. Okay, now I'm going to think about the tens. I've got three uh, $10 notes, and I need to get myself seven $10 notes. So I'll draw those down below here. Three, four, five, six, seven and I ask myself the same question if I've got three ten dollar notes and I need to have seven ten dollar notes how many ten dollar notes do I need to add and the answer is four so you can see I need to save two more one dollar coins and I need to save four more ten dollar notes which means in total I need to save forty two more dollars before I um, before I can have the seventy eight dollars that I need let's try another example um, this time I've got $27 and again I'm needing to save up for something which is worth $89 so I'm trying to work out how much more I need to save. Let's draw a picture of what we've already got. I can see that I've got seven $1 coins so I'll draw those there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to have nine $1 coins so I'll draw those below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, and I ask myself, if I've got seven one dollar coins, how many more one dollar co coins would I need to have to get up to nine? And the answer is two. And you could check that because if I add it in two here, you can see I've got exactly the same amount. Now I'm thinking about the ten dollar notes. I've got two ten dollar notes, and I need to have eight ten dollar notes. So I'll draw those in down below. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. So I ask myself that same question. If I've got two $10 notes, how many more $10 notes will I need to get up to eight? And the answer is six. And just like before, if I draw those in, one, two, three, four, five, six, you can see I've got exactly the right amount. So I had needed to add two one dollar coins and six ten dollar coins. Uh, sorry, six ten dollar notes, which means I needed to save another sixty two dollars. Let's try one more. Um, this time I've got thirty three dollars. Again, I'm saving up for something, but this time what I'm saving saving for is worth eighty five dollars. Right, this time we're going to try and do it without uh, drawing any pictures. So I think to myself, how many $1 coins do I have? I've got three. And how many do I need to have? Five. So three plus what would equal five? And the answer is two. Okay, now I'm on to the $10 coins. I've got, sorry, $10 notes rather. I've got three $10 notes and I need to have eight $10 notes. So I think to myself, three plus what would equal eight? And the answer is five more $10 notes, which means in total I need to save another $52. Uh, dollars. Let's try one more example like that without any uh, materials. Here's $63, that's what I've got. Need to save up some more so that I have $99. Just like last time, I've got three $1 coins. How many more do I need to get up to nine $1? And the answer is six, because three plus six is nine. Now I'm thinking about the $10 notes. Six $10 notes plus what would give me nine $10 notes? And the answer is 
three ten dollar notes because six plus three is nine or six ten dollar notes plus three ten dollar notes equals nine ten dollar notes which means in total I need thirty six now the important thing to remember about this strategy is that it's really good for cases where you have less uh, $1 coins than what you need to get and less $10 notes than what you need to have. For example, here we had three and we needed a big amount, or a bigger amount. Here we had six $10 notes and we needed a bigger amount. And you can see that's the same for all of them. We had three, we needed, or we need to get five, and we had three ten dollar notes and we need to get eight. If you do have a question, um, well, let's say like this, 36 plus uh, something equals, let's say 72, where you've got more ones here than what you need to, you're probably best choosing a different method, maybe something like jumping the number line. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful. Uh, you can find more lessons at teachertools.co.nz.